Honda and GM started jointly developing affordable EVs last year. But after studying this for a year, we decided that this would be difficult as a business. So at the moment, we're ending development of an affordable EV. Honda and GM just dropped a bombshell in the auto world. In a recent announcement that sent ripples across the EV industry, the collaborative efforts between these automotive giants have hit a roadblock, raising eyebrows and sparking curiosity. The once promising collaboration on the production of the highly anticipated Honda Prologue battery electric vehicle is now under scrutiny after the two companies just announced that they are ditching plans to make cheap electric cars together. But why did Honda and GM end their partnership? And will the Honda Prologue ever become a reality? Join us as we decipher the reason behind Honda and GM's divorce and how the recent announcement may affect the companies in the future. We will also delve into the intricate web of challenges, risks and uncertainties that now shroud the eagerly anticipated Honda Prologue battery electric vehicle. So let's get started. Back in April 2022, Honda and GM revealed an exciting collaboration aimed at creating affordable electric vehicles, a welcome shift from the pricey options dominating the market. While numerous electric vehicles were hitting the roads with hefty price tags of $50,000 and beyond, Honda and GM were determined to make eco-friendly driving accessible to those on a budget. Chevrolet even teased its upcoming Equinox EV, boasting a starting price of around $30,000. The alliance was set to capitalize on the General Motors Ultium platform, utilizing the manufacturing strengths of both automakers. Some models were also slated to incorporate Honda's e-architecture platform, recognized for its role in the Honda e. Anticipation was high, with the first collaborative vehicles anticipated to hit showrooms for the 2027 model year. Fast forward to October 25, 2023, and the narrative takes an unexpected turn. In a surprising twist reported by Bloomberg, Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe dropped the bombshell that Honda is putting the brakes on its plans to co-develop affordable electric vehicles with General Motors. This decision, he explained, stems from a shifting business landscape that prompted a strategic re-evaluation. Recently, GM sounded a cautionary note, expressing uncertainty about reaching its projected $14 billion profit this year. The United Auto Workers strike has injected unpredictability into the company's financial outlook. The ongoing work stoppage is racking up costs at a staggering rate, $200 million per week, resulting in an $800 million dent in the company's profits. But is this the reason Honda and GM broke their collaboration? After a year of careful consideration, Mieber acknowledged the formidable challenges this venture posed to their business. He emphasized that for now, Honda and GM will pursue solutions independently, officially scrapping the collaborative project. While Mieber didn't explicitly cite the UAW strike, he pointed to cost and range issues as the primary factors influencing the decision. GM verified the development with spokesperson Sanaz Marbley stating that last year, GM initiated work on an affordable EV program for global markets, set to debut in 2027. But following thorough studies and analysis, they have jointly decided to discontinue the program. However, both companies remain unwavering in their commitment to affordability in the EV market. The shift in direction, influenced by external challenges, underscores the unpredictable nature of the automotive landscape. GM and Honda joined forces with the ambitious goal of accelerating the reduction in battery costs, envisioning the development of electric vehicles at prices comparable to industry leaders like Tesla and BYD. Their collaboration extended beyond this venture, with shared efforts to cut development costs, boost sales and deepen ties. Since 2013, the companies have been working on hydrogen fuel cells while also collaborating on EV batteries, traditional gasoline-powered vehicles and self-driving technology. Despite the recent decision to abandon plans for more affordable EVs, there is no immediate impact on the partnership's commitment to building electric SUVs at GM's Spring Hill, Tennessee facility. The Honda Prologue, a significant project within this collaboration, remains on track for production. An Acura version is also in the pipeline, with the Prologue set to hit showrooms next year at prices starting under $50,000.
Additionally, Honda has plans to import GM's Cruise Origin autonomous vehicles to Japan in 2026. The prevailing unease in the electric vehicle EV market is leaving its mark on US automakers, as evident in recent decisions. General Motors recently made another announcement, pushing back the launch of electric pickup trucks from Chevrolet and GMC. GM justified the decision as a strategic move to better manage capital investment while aligning with evolving EV demand. Similarly, Ford has taken a step back, reducing one of the three shifts at the factory responsible for manufacturing the electric F-150 Lightning. Ford said that they are adjusting the schedule at the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center because of multiple constraints, including the supply chain and working through processing and delivering vehicles held for quality checks after restarting production in August. The move impacted 700 jobs, although Ford emphasized that the cuts were unrelated to the ongoing UAW strike against the company. These adjustments underscore the intricate challenges faced by automakers, ranging from supply chain constraints to quality control measures. The shifting landscape, compounded by the ongoing UAW strike, is prompting strategic recalibrations in the timelines and priorities of major players in the EV market. However, amidst these developments, concerns are rising about the broader landscape of the EV market. The decision to scrap plans for more affordable EVs by Honda, as reported by The Verge, is expected to heighten apprehensions about the future of electric vehicles in the US and globally. Tesla's recent price cuts, shrinking profit margins and a softening in demand have stirred significant concerns about the ongoing paradigm shift toward electric vehicles. Analyst Carl Brower from IC Cars points out that brands like Honda, Chevrolet, Ford and GMC might have made overly optimistic assumptions about the percentage of future sales of electric vehicles. The current and foreseeable demand for these electric models appears to challenge those initial assumptions. Analysts are now questioning whether the auto industry may have taken on more than it can handle, especially with the ongoing challenges posed by the strike. Adding to the concerns, LG Energy Solutions Chief Financial Officer Lee Chang Sil recently issued a warning during an earnings call. He stated that EV demand next year could be lower than expected, attributing this potential slowdown to sluggish growth in major economies like China and Europe, along with high interest rates making loans less affordable for potential buyers. Interestingly, the focus on interest rates in news reports is relatively covered. The global economic landscape has seen historically low interest rates since the upheavals of 2007 and 2008. Compared to those near zero rates, current interest rates may seem remarkably high. However, these rates are considered normal or slightly high for those who witnessed the financial meltdown. Nevertheless, the higher cost of borrowing is impacting both businesses and consumers accustomed to historically low rates, introducing an additional variable into the already intricate equation of the EV market. While specific details may remain sparse, Elon Musk's recent statement during Tesla's earnings call indicates that high interest rates have influenced corporate decisions, such as slowing plans for a new factory in Mexico. The recent announcement by Honda adds another layer of uncertainty, particularly for those anticipating more affordable electric vehicles EVs, in American showrooms. Honda, in its pursuit of alternative options to traditional gas-powered vehicles, ventured into hybrid and electric vehicles. However, the Honda Clarity EV didn't make a significant impact, and the timing of its next EV raises concerns about its competitive edge in the rapidly evolving EV market. Unlike automakers such as Ford, Nissan and Tesla, who have seen success with their electric vehicles, Honda's lag in this domain allows competitors to capture the attention of consumers actively seeking electric options. The absence of a robust EV offering puts Honda at a disadvantage, potentially leading to a loss of market share. The decision to collaborate with General Motors, inspired by the perceived success of the Chevrolet Bolt in 2017, may also not have yielded the expected results. As the automotive industry witnesses a growing shift towards electric vehicles, Honda's delayed entry into the market may hinder its ability to compete effectively. While the intricacies behind Honda's recent decision may remain undisclosed, it is evident 
that the company faces challenges in staying relevant in a landscape where electric options are gaining traction and consumer attention. The recent recall of every Chevrolet Bolt model due to fire risks may have also posed a significant challenge for Honda, given its collaboration with General Motors on the production of the Honda Prologue battery electric vehicle. With GM dealing with its own substantial challenges, the prospect of supporting Honda's EV endeavours in a positive manner would have been dangerous for Honda. This development cast a shadow over the collaborative efforts between Honda and GM, introducing a level of risk and complexity to the production of the Honda Prologue. Honda may need to navigate these challenges carefully to ensure the success and safety of its upcoming electric SUV. While the path forward may be uncertain, one thing is clear. The journey toward more accessible and sustainable electric vehicles is a collective effort. As the dust settles on the recent revelations, the industry watches with bated breath to see how these events will reverberate and reshape the course of electric mobility. As Honda navigates the uncertainties arising from its broken partnership with GM and the intricate dance of the UAW strike, the future of its electric ambitions hangs in the balance. But what do you think? Does this broken partnership pose any threat to Honda? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.